Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have the first of a new unit. The unit is titled Symmetry and Transformations. And it's going to be about graphing. You can peek below me, there is a, a graph a grid paper given. Um, you'll be mostly dealing with grid paper when you need it. Sometimes you might need to create one. As you're going to see me do uh, throughout the next couple of lessons, I'll be creating my own. So they will not be perfect, but I ask that you bear with me. Uh, they will be good enough to understand and get the point across. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is um, the actual grid itself. So I'm going to draw a set of axes. <laughs> wow, I start off real good. That should be straight across. Why don't we just start again? That's better. Anyway, we have, these are called axes. And there's two types when we're talking about the grid. There is the up and down and the side to side. So up and down is the Y axis. And side to side is the X axis. So we are going to have two coordinates, kind of like, um, you know, when we have two geometric coordinates, when we're uh, zooming in on this point on the world, it goes to a whole bunch of decimal points. There's up and down and side to side, and that will get you a specific point on the Earth. Well, that's kind of what we're going to do here. So we are going to have two points, and we're going to put them in brackets, and they're going to be separated by a comma. And the x value goes first, and the y value goes second every single time. So we are going to state some coordinates from the points that are given on the graph uh, on the question sheet below. All right, I won't draw, redraw that entire graph. But we're going to go through the points. So I see point A. So point A, and this is how I'm going to label it. So I have point A like this, and then I have sets of brackets. I have an x value and a y value here. You can see that the A point, it's up at the top left, uh, it is to the is on the x-axis minus two, right? You go back to the left minus two, so that is the first value minus two, and the second value is our y value. How high up and down is it? Is it on the bottom? Is it on the top? This one is one, two, three, four, five, all the way at the top of this graph. So the point A is represented by negative two, five. So when we look at our graph here, everything to the left of this axis is negative. Everything below the axis is also negative. Okay, so when we go back away um, to the left, that is minus two. Then we went up, so that's plus five. One last thing, one last definition that maybe you've heard of, maybe you've not. Uh, the point in the middle where they cross that is called the origin, and the origin is the point zero, zero. It doesn't go up any, it doesn't go over any, it is just zero, zero. Let's continue on with a few more of these problems. Let's do B. I believe there's a B on here. Yes, I see B. So we are going to do the X value first. Where does it go? left to right. Does it go um, to the, your left or does it go to the right? It, B goes to the left and it goes 1, so that's at negative 1. And then how far up and down does it go? Well, it goes down 3, right? It is down 3, so that's negative 3. So that is our point. x value negative 1, y value negative 3. Let's do C. The x value for C is minus 4 goes over four to the left, and one, two, three, minus three, it goes down. Each of these points are gonna be unique because none of them overlap. Let's do D next. D is on the right-hand side, right? It is over to the right one, so that means it is a positive one for the X value. And one, two, three up, so it's a positive three for the Y value. We'll look for E now. E is right above D. Okay, 
So when it's like this, I can see that they're both at plus one. So I can just copy that over. They're in the same um, column, like left to right. And then it's up one. It is at four instead of three. So again, none of these points are going to overlap. A, B, C, D, E. Let's see, is there an F? I believe there should be an F. F is near the top left again. So we are going one, two, three over to the left. So that's negative three for an X value. And one, two, three, four up, that's four for a Y value. So sometimes it gets a bit confusing, but where the negatives go, but if you're going to the left, it is negative for the X value. If you're going down, it is negative for the Y value. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there should be a G, an H, an I, and a J. Let's continue here. G is four to the left, so that's minus four and one up. That's positive one. H is two to the right, so that's positive two and one down, so that's negative one. I is one to the right, so that's positive one. And then one, two, three down, so that's negative three on the Y value. And then J, where's J? One, two, and minus four for a x value and minus two, goes two down for the y value. Okay, if you're unsure about any of those, why I got that, please ask that question. We're gonna do one more, we're gonna do it quicker. Promises. Okay, we have, okay, I'm just gonna go from the top down. We got n, I'm not gonna go in alphabetical order. We have l. Then we have F, J, and E. Let's do all of these. If you notice, they are all up and to the right. So all of their numbers are actually gonna be positive, right? If you go up, it's positive. If you go to the right, it's positive. Everything's gonna be positive for these five. Uh, so N is one, two, three to the right and five up. L is the same number to the right. It's in the same column, but is one down. So that's four instead of five. F is five to the right and two up. J is two to the right and one up. And then E is one, two, three, four to the right and then zero up and down. So a value can be zero if it is on one of the axes. So I can't see that there for E. Four for the X value, zero up and down for the Y value. Let's do some more. Let's do I. I is one, two to the left, so that's negative two, and then one, two, three down, so that's negative three for the Y value. Let's do H. H is one, two, three to the right, and then it's on the bottom, it's down, so it is minus three for the Y value. We have G next. G is one, two, three, four to the right, and then four down. We have K. That's one, two to the right, and minus five downwards. And our last one, M, is one to the right, and five all the way down. Again, ask any questions if you have them. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We will do the opposite next time. I'll see you soon.